Welcome to my Anusara Yoga channel and this is the first class in a series of six classes plus a bonus and this is the bonus free class all around mantra and chanting. This class is um, around the, the Shanti Mantra and if you go to the links below you'll find um, some Spotify links and every class in the series has a playlist for you and so the mantra and chant you could press play and have that specific mantra and chant playing around you as we move together in these physical classes all orientated around the power of mantra. Okay, so we're starting today with the Shanti Mantra. This is a, a short class free. If you want to get access to all the other classes, then again, there's another link below that will take you to, to um, my membership where you can buy the classes and you can come live stream or catch them on recording as well. It'd be lovely to have you there. All right, so do go and click that. And if you're already purchased, welcome. This is your freebie uh, class as well. All right, so the first mantra is as commonly known as the Shanti Mantra. And if you go to the playlist, we can click play. I'm going to do the same. So I invite you to just listen to the, the, the first song on that playlist. It's by Deva Primal. And listen to her singing the chant. I'm going to do the same. And then I'll explain to you the meaning of that chant. All right, so go and click play now. We can sing together. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bunaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahe Tejas Vivatita Mastu Mavid Vishavahai Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Welcome. Welcome to the Shanti Mantra. So what does this mean? Om Sahanao Vavatu. Om Sahanao Bunaktu. This means um, together. And that, to me, that is the essence of it. Together, may we move and relish being together. So let's get going and I'll explain the rest of the mantra to you as we relish in moving and getting going. All right. So come on to all fours. You can remove your bolster. Come on to all fours and just take a little moment to relish in that initial movement, knowing that we are connected together. You potentially could be you know, choose to do your own practice, but you choose to connect with me, which is lovely online or in person, lift and take your bum high, downward facing dog. And again, bend and straighten your legs and feel how, you know, those, especially those initial moments and movements, how we do tend to really relish them and move with them. And then come into some stillness and relish the internal flux of your breath. In and out. So take three Deep, full breaths. Lovely. And then come down to your knees, taking a child's pose. And I'd like you to remember you can come to child's pose whenever you need to. Lovely. And then come back onto your knees. Together, maybe move and relish okay so bring your right knee slightly forward kick it to the side and let's come to gate pose as you stretch your left leg out to the side take your right hand turn the index finger forward and as if you're turning a jam jar top to the right turn and wrap the tricep underneath you all right and then reach up and maybe we move together and relish the movement again so move your top shoulder relish it and move together and this is often a mantra that is sung before students study together study philosophy or our asana so stretch that up reach up into a little gate pose on the side there 
lovely and then bring that left hand down bring the knee down we'll do the other side so excuse my bottom on the camera kick your left foot out extend the right leg careful of this right hand this time it's going to wrap back wrap that tricep round and reach up and rather than being static let's enjoy and find the the nourishment in this movement this is what the the mantra is may we get pleasure in learning together okay and then extend into full gate pose really breathe into the side body there super and then bring the hand down again well done one more time let's press back and up to downward facing dog these first few poses are really designed for us to feel the opening. So you've moved into your shoulders with relish, lift your right leg up behind you and step that right foot up on the outside edge of your right hand. Bring the left knee down. Big gap here and then hands are on the inside. Let's now stir up and find some activity in the hips. So really stir around. I often say to my students, imagine that this right hip were a spoon and you're stirring it, waking it up, always wanting to learn more, never stop learning. Go in the other direction. Okay, lovely. Round and round, backwards and forwards. So lunge forward a little bit. Now pick up the right toes, push the heel down. Let's come to half Hanuman. And if you, it's a good opportunity here to take a block to give yourself some arm length. Remember, you're not sitting on the heel, you're lifting your booty up and this back leg is engaged. So you feel that lovely stretch into the hamstring. Spread your toes like Hanuman, the monkey god. And then rock back and forward. So let's do this three times. Back we go to half Hanuman. Forward. And back again. And the next time we go forward, we're going to stay there. Take the opportunity to perhaps take a second block. Inhale, lengthen and exhale. Bring your elbows to the blocks. Squeeze your right knee against your shoulder. You'll be able to see that better on the second side, but I've got my knee squeezed. So we get this sense of connection and this is what this mantra really is all about, the student-teacher connection. May we relish that together. If you want to, you can pick up your back leg as well. And you could also dispense with down to one block or two, that would make it slightly harder. I'm going to stay with two, just because I want to feel that. All right, one more breath, and then place your hands. You can bring them either side of the blocks, careful you don't bonk your head, downward facing dog. So we pre prepare for the other side. Okay, picking your left leg up. Step it wide, you can probably see it better on that side. Bring the back knee down. Okay, lovely. And then again, rocking back, I'm going to use the height of the blocks to give me a little bit more space and freedom in the hip. Flex these toes and engage back leg. And then we're going to rock it backwards and forwards. Okay, so lunge forwards and back. Forwards and back. Last one, lunge forwards. This time I'm going to bow in. So again, this knee stays connected together. Student and teacher. Okay. And the next line of the mantra says, together may we perform our studies with vigor and enthusiasm. With, or another way to think of it as an intense concentration. So this, sometimes these poses can be intense, can't they? staying with some of the long holds I bring you in. If you want to, you could add to that vigour by lifting the back knee. Okay, but I think it's interesting that the mantra starts with the idea that we, it, we, it's, we relish, enjoy it and find it nourishing, not a fight. Take one more breath. Gorgeous, and then bring the knee down. We're going to just scoot those blocks to the side. And then again, step back to downward facing dog. Find the movement, find the joy. And I'm going to do the same with downward dog and high plank. So this will have 
a meaning behind it. So stay in downward dog and now come to plank. Now I often see students do this. They'll be in a slightly too short downward dog and as they come to plank, you have to adjust your feet and do a bit of a wiggle to get there. All right, so if that was you, then come to plank where you're nice and long. And then as you lift the downward facing dog, don't move your feet. <laughs> so your downward dog feels a bit longer, but there's more room to relish the length. Let's do that a couple of times. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward dog. So the hands and feet don't have to move, but you can still, you can flow between these two poses with ease and relishment, enjoyment, and also a little bit of vigor. And it does require concentration. One more time. Step it up, lovely, and then bend your knees, step your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, coming up to standing, and exhale, hands to your heart center. Take a deep breath in, a long breath out, and the, the now, N-A-U in this mantra, really means that to emphasizes this togetherness. So now let's move in a Surya Namaskar A and really think of that togetherness in your breath and your movement. Tie those two together. So inhale, reach up, student and teacher. Exhale and bow. Inhale, extend your spine. Exhale, place the hands to downward dog. And then inhale that beautiful fluid flow to high plank. First set, let's bring the knees down, lower the chest. Inhale to a little baby cobra. And then exhale, back and up you go, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, long breath out. We're going to do two more of these, okay? So step your way to the top of your mat on the inhale breath, halfway lift, tying the breath on the exhale to the movement. Now, together, N-A-U, inhale. Reach up, exhale, to your heart. Two more, inhale, reach. Exhale, and bow. Inhale, extend. Place the hands, downward dog. Inhale to a high plank. Keep the knees up this time if you want to. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to a little higher in the cobra, but keep the elbows bent. And then exhale, downward facing dog in. Deep breath in, long breath out. Remembering the teacher, the student, the breath, the movement, all one, working together. Use your inhale breath to both step forward and halfway lift. Exhale and bow. Inhale, come all the way to standing. And exhale, hands to your heart center. Last one, inhale, reach. Exhale and bow. Inhale, halfway lift. Place your hands, step back, downward dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra, you can come up even higher now. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, gorgeous breath out. Lovely, now instead of coming to the top of the mat this time, lift your right leg up. This time as you step it up, step it between your hands, spin the back foot down. Let's come on up to uh, warrior two. So, you know, this concept of together, sometimes we might feel polar opposites with this back leg. I'm asking you to inner spiral, take the thigh bone back. And in my front leg, I'm asking it to outer spiral, tuck under and draw in, kind of asking them to do two different things, but they can work together. So inner spiral, the back leg, outer spiral, the front there. And then from that, you get that steady base, opening up the hip. Reach out to Virabhadrasana two. 
So it might feel like they're working opposites, but together they bring you into a beautiful sweetness of the pose. Sweep your hands around and interlink your hands together behind you. Inhale and then exhale, bow forward into humble warrior. And then once we get it, once we realize how the opposites working together can bring you into sweetness, I get this spark of realization, you know, oh, inhale, come on up. Turn your toes in, reach out, it's like this, oh, I get it now. I understand now that spark of brilliance. Turn your left toes around, come into uh, warrior two on this side. Okay. And again, you're now your back leg, you're asking that to draw back. So no, none of this, no shoving the hip forward. Draw it in and back. Tuck your left booty underneath you. And I'm asking you to do two opposite things, but together they can marry up. Open up, warrior two. Find that sweet spot. And then it kind of all makes sense. Reach around, interlink your hands together. And this is the next line of the invocation. Exhale, bow. We get this spark of understanding that then leads us to wisdom. Humble warrior. Lift your chin, bow it in. Really lovely, everyone. And then inhale, come on up, straighten your left leg, turn the toes in, then release out. It's as if like, Eureka, <laughs> I understand, well done. So spin your palms down to frame the right foot and step back to downward facing dog. It's also described as a, a brilliance of understanding. Okay, come down to your knees, well done. And then you're gonna take your blocks. They don't have to have the, be these big blocks like mine, but you can, you can have smaller blocks. Okay, you're gonna come down onto your forearm and slide one block underneath your hip. There's like a little, just rest the hip. If you can see that on there, down in your forearm. So it's like a little prop. I'm gonna separate my feet. Okay, and press into my elbow. Top hand is on my hip. Can you see how I'm on the blade edge of my feet? All right, and then from here, I'm gonna press down into the elbow, press it down and away and lift my hips. So it does, does take some work, some concentration, some vigor, as the mantra says, to lift away from that block and then down. And if you want another block, add to the challenge, put it on your top hip. You might need to keep your hand there to keep it there. And it, as not only are you lifting up and away from this base block, but you're lifting your, actively lifting your top hip into that top block, like you're trying to push it up, plonk it on the ceiling. Exhale, lower. Let's do three more. Inhale, lift and lower. It is hard work to study together. Lift and lower. Lift away from the base block and up and into the top block. And then lower your hips. Dispense with your top block. Well done, let's do the other side, all right. So I'm gonna spin round so I can stay, whoops, looking at the camera. Hip, left hip now on the, the base block. You know, all these are options, you don't have to do the top block. Separate your feet. This arm is pushing down and away so I don't get scrunchy in my shoulder here. I'm gonna put this block on my top hip. And the first set, just think about drawing away from the base block and down. And then the second one with the block up here, you're drawing away from the base block and up and into with the top hip, this top block. So there's two sort of energies working together. Now, we've got three more. So lift up and down, up and uh, we are studying together. I'm doing this with you, keep going. And then bring it down, gorgeous. Release the block down. Let's give ourselves a little break. So come to kneeling, bring your hands to your knees, take a deep breath in. 
and a long breath out. Well done. And the final part of this mantra, it means that may all this study together never breed to hostility between us or competition um, between us. So all that learning pushes our edges. Me never may we argue about it or fall out. All right. And never may we come up to standing, fall out with the yoga poses. Sometimes we can do that if we push ourselves a little bit too hard. So come on up, bring your blocks with you. And I'd like you to put your blocks at the top of your mat. Okay, and you're gonna stand right at the back of your mat. And the next two poses are slightly harder, but let's see, as we come together and we hug the midline in them, can we not create a battleground for ourselves? Never, no hostility. All right, so step your right foot forward. We're coming to Virabhadrasana three. So the toes angle forwards, step into that leg. Let's start with the arms back behind us in aeroplane. Flex the foot and try and bring your head and heat the back heel down at the same pace. You could bring your hands together, this sense of working together. And then extend the arms overhead, full Virabhadrasana three. And then from here, reach forward to your blocks. You might want to scoot them so they're underneath your shoulders. Keep your leg in Vira three and then start to open up that hip working in opposites. So open up the hip, start to open up the hip, bring your left hand to your hip, stay looking at the block and extend from the heel to the crown of your head. And then open up into the brilliance of learning and studying together. And don't let there be any conflict. If you need to step out or need to lessen the pose, do so. So shine out. A beautiful mantra. Bring the hand down, bring the left leg down to the middle of the mat and then grab your own elbows. Let's take a little moment in Uttanasana. You know, sometimes as we come together, well, that work can create friction. So, you know, we need to work on not getting competitive with ourselves or anybody else, no hostility. Let's do the other side, okay? So step forward with your left leg, preparing squeeze to a midline feel that connection together may we relish this movement and then come down to Virabhadrasana three starting with aeroplane arms then prayer hands and if you so feel then full arms Virabhadrasana three one more breath and then bring the hands down to the blocks again you want to Make sure they're underneath the shoulders and then opening up all the parts of the body working together. Open up that top leg, lengthen through the crown of your head. Bring your right hand to your hip. If this is enough, then that's enough. But otherwise, reach out. That aha moment when something you're studying or learning lands. <laughs> and then exhale. Never let it create friction or damage. Bring yourself down to Uttanasana. Hold your own elbows and soften in. And we sometimes can make those poses work against us, can't we? Spread your hands, move the blocks, downward facing dog. Then come down to your knees. Well done. Move the blocks to the side now and we're going to try and put all that, that work together now. We're going to come to a few variations of side plank. You could come to your forearm like we did earlier if you feel the need, if your wrists hurt or anything at all. Okay, so come to mid mat. I'm going to do um, three, well actually four variations of um, side plank. If you think you might want to go for the fourth one, have a block ready. Okay, <laughs> all right, so we'll start with the left side. So reach your left hand out to the side, spread the hand, all that good work of wrapping the shoulder back. Leave the left knee down, like we did in the very first pose today. Left knee down, and then reach up. So this, you could potentially do this four times, and you'd be awesome. Okay, and then bring that in and down. Let's do the other side, right hand lifts, or right hand spreads rather. Reach up and over. This beautiful side body long. It's just, I don't know, this, this shape to me feels really celebratory and lovely. 
and then come down back to the other side and then we can add the top foot goes forward and the back foot steps back behind come onto the blade edges of your feet keep pushing this hand down and away and like we did in the first poses lift your hip away from the mat but also up and reach up da, da, da. well done come on down Ready for the other side? Inhale over to this, keep maintaining this beautiful side body long. Step the top leg to the front of the mat, the bottom leg behind. And reach up. That's stage two. And there's always more to learn. That's why a teacher will always give you a little bit of a push. Know there's something more out there. And don't use that something more to work against yourself. Oh, I can't do that. Just know, oh, wow, there's more opportunity. Third one, okay, hands down. This time we're going to stack the feet. So your feet come out to the side again. And then this time take your top foot and stack it. Flex the feet so you're, on the, you're not on the you know, bendy ankles. Stretch on up. There you go, full side, but squeeze the bottom hip up and the top hip higher. The two have to work together. Teacher and student, come on down. Fun? <laughs> Other side, set wide, stack, or take the other two options, or fast forward the tape, <laughs> or video, whatever it is. I'm showing my age there, aren't I? Tape. When the last time I saw a tape was lovely, and then come on down. Are you ready? Last one, best one. If you want to try this, you're going to have a block. We'll put it on top of the hip to get us something to resist the length against, and see if we can lift the leg. Oh, let's try. Okay, left hand down. Take your option. If you come in with me, stack the feet, take the block, put it on the hip and squeeze down against it as something to resist against as you pick up the top leg for three, two, one. Bring it down. If you wobbled and fell out, that's brilliant. If you managed to keep it, that's brilliant. If you were doing the gate pose, you're brilliant too. <laughs> All brilliant. Okay, other side. Last one, let's go for this. Stack the feet block in the hip and use it as a resistance to lift the top leg against for three, two, one. That's my weaker side for sure. You probably saw my left, my base leg buckle a bit. I've got something to work on. I'm still learning. We're all still learning. And may we never use this to fight with ourselves or anybody else. Let's come to child's pose. You've earned it after all that hard work and this beautiful mantra i hope you've still got the playlist playing in the background some of the tunes are not the actual mantra but they're shanti because the end of them this mantra inhale come up this is om shanti 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 which is peace 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 in amongst all this learning. Bring your legs out in front of you. Bend your left leg. We're going to come to Janu Shasasana. So if you need a yoga strap, please go for it. Hook the strap over your foot. Draw this leg in. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, bow in. And I know sometimes it can get frustrating when you don't get the peak pose or you feel like you'll never get there. But instead of getting frustrated, can you be inspired? But what more? So keep coming back. I hope you come back to the other classes in this series as well. Inhale, come on up. Leave the strap there momentarily. Bring the leg in and hook it over. Inhale, reach. Either hold the knee or hook to a lovely spinal twist. Lift. This coming together, this is what this mantra talks about. May we all learn and rub off each other and learn from each other, bounce ideas off each other with no hostility, no sense of competition. 
exhale, unravel. Bend your right leg. Other side. Well done, reach the strap. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and bow. Give yourself a few moments here. Knees more forward folded, introspective. So you can notice yourself if you find yourself, you do get competitive on the mat or somewhere else. This mantra really is bringing us all together as a one. Inhale, come on up. Next week, we're looking at the OM that appears at the beginning of every single mantra. What does it mean? You'll find out next week. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. And hook the elbow if you so wish. Super. And then gently unravel. Make sure you clear the decks of all the blocks because we're going to do a, some, some reclined twists now. You don't really want to be bashing up against anything else. All right. So bend your knees and put your feet as wide as the mat. Scoot your bottom in and lay on down. Reach the arms out. May you always be open to forever learning. Exhale, lower your knees to the right. Take a big breath in from your tummy button up. And turn your insides to the left. Turn your face. Soften. These are softer poses now. Don't try so hard. Be where you're at. And then gently slow, bring your knees back to centre. And exhale over to the left. Turn your upper half to the left. Wonderful, and then bring them back, that all back to centre. First of all, let your knees kind of knock together, this introspective softening. Hands on your tummy, key into your breath. And again, key into the mantra that is gently playing from the playlist around you. So some beautiful variations of it on that playlist know what you think of them and then heel toe your feet together and do the reverse with your legs let the knees fold out to the side again big deep belly breaths as we wind our way down into a place of ease Really beautiful. And then extend your legs. Bring the knees in. Extend the legs nice and long. Shavasana. Release the hands. Scoot the shoulders. So coming together with the shoulder blades. Being together. And even though we're not physically together in a room, there is definitely a connection across this recording. And the role of teacher student reversing, being different with each opportunity. Relax.
So this mantra exemplifies our willingness to come together, to learn. If Anusara Yoga is new to you, learning the new um, techniques, learning the new buzzwords, being open to it all. And gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bend your knees. Roll all the way over to your left hand side. And then coming all the way back up. Hands to your heart. Om. Thank you for joining me. Shanti Mantra. See you next week to hear all about Om and the vibration and the shape. Why is it drawn like it is? I'll be showing you a diagram. I'll hear all about that. Okay? Namaste.